Hey, bye, Thomas here. This is the morning before the sawmill show. That's just gorgeous. We absolutely love this view. We're really going to miss this when we list our property and sell it here pretty soon. But yeah, that's part of it. I will never miss this view because just over that ridge right there is um, just beautiful. 90 foot above the Escatoba River. Okay, so this is the morning of the sawmill show. I got to move my tractor out of there, but I got additional parking and everything back there. I got all this blocked off here so no one can park on my septic. And then we are literally getting everything ready. I've got to move these dirt piles real quick. We had all the um, red mulch and everything put in, a new flower bed and all that made up. You got a little bit more work. I got about two hours. Two hours to bust it out here and get this stuff done, get some more slabs and everything put up. Oh, this is going to be a great day. Great day. I'm going to film throughout the day. I'm going to actually do that this time. This will be my fourth time. But I will film throughout the day the actual sawmill show. So stay tuned. It should be fun. Okay, folks. So we have the sign out now. So it's official. Sawmill show. we got balloons on the mailbox. And we've got Mr. Gunn with his sawmill setup. Mr. Neil with his fire truck sawmill. And we've got my sawmill out there. But yeah. Sawmill show. Eight to three. <laughs> All right, well, hope to see y'all here. All right, everybody, I've done a little bit of cutting over here on the Timber King Sawmill. We cut up a cherry log, kind of going over how I cut up a cherry log. We've got Mr. John Gunn out here with his mill. He's talking to some folks and everything. My mill's out there. Neil is about to cut on this funky log right here. Um, we're, I don't know what this mill is, but we're going to talk about it. It's got a quite a unique smell to it. Um, we're going to see what it is. We're going to talk to the people here at the show, see if they know what it is. But as you see, we've got quite a few cars out here. We are already going to get into an overflow car situation where i got to start sending people to the back. But uh, as the group gets around here, we're going to go ahead and start cutting this. This is a lot of fun, y'all. So make sure if, if we do another one of these sawmill shows or anything, y'all come out to this. This is a lot of fun, great time to learn. We are talking to some awesome people here. They have everything from Timber King sawmills to Baker uh, Intercontinental or something. I don't know, all sorts of stuff. So, and then uh, Wood Miser, all sorts of stuff. And there you go, he's cutting away. I, I don't think I've actually shown Neil's mill cutting on camera before. So we'll do a little bit of cutting here. Oh, he didn't go deep enough. I'm gonna make fun of him. <laughs> so now we're out here with Mr. Gunn cutting on his Woodland Mills HM122. He's cutting up some cypress and because he came here last minute, I said, this cypress log is yours and all these boards off it. Go ahead and make yourself your mantle for your house. He's building a house just right down the road. And he also saved me in a pinch yesterday whenever my mill kind of crapped out and we had to uh, do some work on it. But not too shabby. These are cypress boards right here. And he's got a nice cypress mantle right here with some pretty cool, cool color. Got some bluing and stuff in there. But yeah, we're getting quite a few folks out here. The uh, parking is definitely filled up in the front. We have to use the uh, overflow parking out back. But yeah, great show so far. Okay, so we were just cutting a black walnut log and we hit uh, eight times with nails. It was six nails, but we hit them eight times. So we're gonna go ahead and swap on a carbide blade and we'll get back to shooting on here. So we ran the blade through it. I think it was for three cuts. She's got a bit of wave to her and everything. And you see Robert also pulled out these 16 penny nails right here. But yeah, we're gonna swap this carbide blade on there. It's been run a little bit from Timber King, but we're gonna try it out, see how she does. So now we're out here doing some random tools with Mr. Robert. We're gonna get away this black walnut slab here. We just finished cutting up this black walnut slab right here. You can see it's over 27 inches wide, averages out over 21 inches, but that's the piece right there. It's pretty awesome. We're doing some, no, we're giving away some random stuff. No. So this is fun. We do these, these uh, things with Robert. He takes these old tools and if people can guess what it is, we give away stuff. So we gave away actually one of the slabs black one out of this. So it's a fun day. So we've been, we just did a section here where we gave away a whole lot of slabs. So you see these gentlemen here. I had my daughter pick off the list right here. We gave away the bench, we gave away a lot of slabs. This is one of the slabs that was given away too. This is a rainbow poplar slab. Let's see if I can show the other side. Check out that coloring there. So this is some of the things that we give away at our shows and everything. We give away some pretty cool things. I wanna make sure everyone has a great experience. Uh, we worked on a cherry mantle earlier. Mr. Bobby did some stuff. The kids are playing over there, having a good old time. We got folks going in and out. The log that we cut over there, that was camphor. And we were just working all that. So without further ado, I wanna get back on the mill. 
we're gonna cut up this black walnut here because I have a few people who want to buy some slabs out of this. Stay tuned. All right, folks, so we have done a lot of stuff. We had a little bit of rain, so it makes the wood look phenomenal. I didn't have to get any uh, uh, rain or uh, water from a bucket and everything. Uh, but as you can see, we have slabs all over here. My cherry mantle got rained on, it's all good and everything. Uh, we've got, some of the people are, after that rain, they kind of ran out and everything. We've got Bobby Charles, he made some stuff, gave some awesome giveaways. Neil out there with his fire truck and all the camper stuff. And then I cut up a black walnut log here. And if you've watched this during the show and everything, I think we're up to 13 nails that we hit in this thing. And I love this. People are out here talking and conversing about, hey, what do you charge? What do you do this, that, and the other? So it's pretty impressive. I'm going to sneak here behind Jack. And then uh, this log right here, this is one of the ones. I mean, look at all this. That's a lot of nail strikes. So there's, I think we were up to 13 nail strikes in these slabs. I mean, it was just everywhere. Uh, but it's pretty. It's black walnut. It's got all this figure and everything. So pretty, pretty stuff. Yeah, I think uh, I think people are having a good time. You got Robert and Two Dog or Donald as we call them and Junior, but they're having a good old time over there. We've had people from all over, all different types of mills, just having a, a great time learning about sawmills, talking about sawmills, talking about wood, talking about what we do. We gave away a lot of slabs. Uh, my daughter got to choose a lot of stuff. We gave away the bench. I think all in all, people are having a fantastic time out here and more just keep on coming in. So this is great. You got Bobby Charles over there. You got Rick. There are so many people here that I've known and seen at other shows and it's awesome. Donnie Carter was here earlier. Just, you know, folks, people who own sawmills, I haven't met a single one that's a jerk yet. They're all awesome. So <laughs> Mr. Steve's over there selling his books and talking to people. Katie's pulling on the American flag, having a great time. All right, we'll continue filming and seeing what else. We got a few more hours here. Well, folks, we are winding down. We've all, since it's warmed up and everything, we've cut a lot of stuff on the sawmill. Bobby Charles is here. I didn't show his stuff, but my gosh, he has some beautiful stuff. We've got the last few folks here and everything, winding down. What a great event. Steve was out here selling his uh, books and everything. A really interesting dude. We've had people from all over, from Florida, from South Carolina, all over the place. So great time. Uh, if you can, uh, if you were here at the show, please comment below. Tell me what you liked about it and uh, what we could do better. Because um, our next show, we'll probably have one in Tennessee. Then we're probably going to do also one in Wisconsin after I get settled in. So it might be a year, year and a half before I do one up in Wisconsin. But I promise the folks up in Wisconsin, I will do a show for y'all up there. It is a lot of fun. There are so many amazing people that came here today. I don't know the full numbers of people, but this park, my front yard here was jam full. I mean, we had a lot of folks here having a great old time, talking about everything you can imagine wood-wise. And my wife, I think she sold a lot of wood for me, so success. All right, please like, subscribe. We're going to wind down here, just sit down and kind of relax and think about the good time. We'll see you around. Thanks. All right, folks, one last little bit. We just had our last guests of the day leave and i had a fantastic time i want to you know send out a big thank you for everyone coming out i just closed the gate uh it was a great day you know everyone was just awesome great people out here still have a lot of slabs to sell so i'm going to be doing uh some posting on some the local facebook groups and stuff like that um but yeah we got a lot of a lot of awesome knowledge was shared back and forth property still looks really good and yeah we we filled this place up with cars so that was really great i know i got sunburnt i haven't looked at myself but i can i can feel it Ooh, ooh i should have had a hat on uh but again i appreciate everyone coming out it was a fantastic time thank you please like subscribe looking forward to doing another one of these in the near future but um great day it was a fantastic day thanks again